So today we'll be adding a floodlight to our shed. Right here. Currently, the shed has this as the power source and we'll be adding it to that 2x4 right there. So these are the parts that are needed for this project. Um, obviously you need floodlights. Um, I was able to pick these up from Walmart for four dollars. So uh, we'll see um, how these turn out. Um, and uh, I'm going to be using this electrical junction box. Um, I like this one because it has cap captive nails and it has these tabs to keep the um, wire from straining and it also has a ground screw that was about two dollars and fifty cents so we're gonna try to keep this whole project under ten dollars and uh, we'll be using 12-2 wiring because this is on a 20 amp breaker okay let's get started okay the first step is to come to your breaker panel and uh, turn off that breaker Since we have the advantage of being able to see the studs, uh, we don't have to use a stud finder um, to find the edge. Otherwise, if you were doing it from the other side of the wall, um, you'd have to use a stud finder to find the edge and put this box at the edge. So essentially, we're going to put the box near the edge and may mark the outside of the box. We'll be making, we'll be using this uh, four inch hole saw to make um, the hole. I, ma I made my markings a little bit higher because that's where I wanted the light to be. So uh, we'll just go ahead and make it. wire through this plastic tab right here. Um, this is a strain relief. Um, essentially it keeps the wire from coming out of the box as if there's some sort of um, pull on it. So we'll feed about um, six to eight inches through the here and uh, we can always come back later and cut it out. So I fed the wire through the tab of the electrical box down here through this pre-existing hole and down the side of the 2x4 um, staple everything into place at the end and then down to the switch this is where we'll be taking the power from essentially this light will be on the same switch as the light from inside the shed light junction box we'll just be pushing it in through this tab in the back of the switch junction box okay so with um, the wires stripped back we're going to um, undo the wire nut on the neutral and attach our neutral that comes from the junction box of light. Do this. So for the power line we'll be attaching it, it to a wire nut using the pigtail method. Um, in order to do that, 
have to make a little pig toe, pigtail, which I've already done. Um, this is essentially just the 12 gauge wire. I've hooked it this way and I've stripped it back this way. So we'll be undoing this outlet of the switch. Straightening it up. Cutting it down a little bit. Okay. So next, what we'll do is uh, we'll attach our pigtail, open it up a little bit, We've got it nice and tight on there now, and so, so we've got the pigtail coming from the switch, going to the other light, and we'll attach it to our light, our floodlight using wire nut. nice and tight so we've got the neutral the power out going out of the switch and the ground wrapped around a wire nut and now so we're just going to push these wires back into the box and um, just put the screws back in So when we're on the outside, so the first thing we're going to do is um, attach the ground to the ground screw on electrical box. Okay, for the fan, um, you need to uh, put this uh, swiveling bracket through the wires right here. Then goes the gasket. Then we attach the white to the white and the black to the black. Okay, so after we've got the wires attached here, we're going to attach the swivel bracket. carefully match the holes in the side the swivel portion to the holes of the light fixture.
done and it's working great so that's how you install a floodlight for about ten dollars